now they're two of Britain's finest actors. She starred in Killing Eve, Free Guy and Dr Foster. And he's known for his roles in Line of Duty, This Is England and White House Farm. So just imagine what Jodie Comer and Stephen Graham can create when they work together. Well, imagine no more. This is the project that uh, they've been working on. It's Channel 4's new drama, Help. Wow, and uh, Jodie and mm. Stephen join us now. How lovely to see Hi, you. Hi. Thank too. you for coming it's in. It's lovely having you here. Um, Stephen, so, so this is at a, a, a dinner at an awards and you're with BAFTA winning writer Jack Thorne and, um, and that's where this starts. Yeah, more or less, yeah, that's, 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 the, that's its inception. And as you said, uh, Jack, do us a favour, would you write something for me and Jodie, please? I'd love to work with her. And he went, hmm, funny enough, she said the same thing. Uh, and then he just went off, and then a few months later, uh, he dropped the first draft of the script, mm. and it was just brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. What he what he produced, just couldn't put it down, could you? No. And then we found Jack had worked with Mark Munden before, who was our director, and Jack kindly introduced us to Mark, and we all got together, and yeah, and then that's how the kind of partnership. Developed. came to be. So this, I mean, this is such an important story, this one that mm. you're telling, because this really shines a light on care homes during the pandemic and everything that happened there. And it really tells the story from inside. And so if you could just set up the story a little bit, because you play Sarah, don't yes. you, who's one of the care workers? Yeah. So we initially meet Sarah and she's had an interview for a job at the care home. And she's kind of defeated, you know? She didn't do well in school. She feels like she has very little to offer the mm. world. Her family doesn't really believe in her. And she goes to this interview as a, 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 you know, a last chance to earn some money and get a job. And little does she know, she ends up kind of like finding her vocation yeah. and makes some really gorgeous, unlikely friendships with some of the residents, one of them being Tony, who's played by Stephen. Um, and then the pandemic hits and it's kind of a, just about how their world got turned upside down and what they had to deal with. And Tony is early onset dementia. Yeah, yeah. Um... And I worked with a wonderful woman called Nikki um, from the Rare Dementia Centre. Um, and that was part of my research. It was really, wanted to try and place a character who was, play the man and not the illness, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, I had lots of coffee mornings with, with the group. I, Cause I had to isolate for 10 mm -hmm. days, didn't I, during rehearsals? Cause Hannah and the kids got COVID. And so you know what the rules and regulations yeah, are like yeah. these days. Um, so I had to isolate for 10 days. But it was a blessing in disguise because I really got to jump right into the character mm. and spend so much time with these wonderful people. Um, and then I, I felt like I had an obligation and a duty to, to play their truth, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. And that seems that this is what this really does. Although we know the story, we know what happened and how awful it was for anybody in a care home at that time, there is, like, there's a bit of beauty in here because of the relationships between the care workers and the residents. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and that was the biggest thing for me. You know, I was fortunate enough, again, we had access to speak with people and I spoke to a couple of carers around the UK. And um, I think what Jack has also captured so beautifully is the happiness, is yeah. the joy. Life in... before it Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, these people provide a home, they provide provide love. They're essentially a family, you know, there is no black and white us in them. Um, and hopefully we've really captured that as mm. well because they're not these kind of dark places, you know, when you think of a care home, there's so much light. And sometimes they, you know, they get a bad rep as we know, do you know mm. what I mean? There's, there's been lots of bad things said about care homes, but with the research that we did, the, the amount of beauty that's in there, and for me personally, the people that do that line of work, I mean, not, you know, not just bathing, somebody and taking them to the toilet and looking after them in that respect and feeding them mm. in that important part of their lives. But also being that spiritual connection for someone, do you know what I mean? It's, mm. it's, you might be that, the only person they spend the day with. So, so to interact with them, it, I think it takes a special quality and yeah. a really oh, beautiful sure. type of person to be able to do that job. Mm. Well, you're, uh, you're both, I mean, this is a passion project for both of you, both executive producers, you're desperate mm -hmm. to work to, with each other and also, more importantly, you wanted to be in Liverpool. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I don't, yeah, it just, I've never really been able to do that and it felt like a, a celebration in a way. Um, especially with Sarah, you know, there's part of me that is Sarah and there's so many women who I know who have that kind of fire and passion within them. So it was incredible to be able to go back to Liverpool and... And your mum cooked. She did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's always a bonus, isn't it? You want to make the best scouts in the world. And then I got judged for me mint sauce. Use. I can't believe it. Go on, tell us why. What was wrong with uh, it? Oh, no, it was... I, I put, like, a huge dollop of mint sauce and then there was... It was actually on Loose Women. It was, like, 
can you put mint sauce on anything other than lamb? And I was like, <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she put brown, she put brown <laughs> sauce in scouse. Which... Yes. Yeah, well, that's yeah. Like a, 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 almost like a, a, another version of a Lancashire hot pot. <laughs> you put uh, you put uh, brown sauce in, in Lancashire hot pot, or at least I did. There's no rules, I think. I don't there think are there are rules, no. but I've almost certainly got into trouble, but I'm from Oldham, <laughs> so there we go, I can do what I like. Um, so, so it was your mum that was cooking scouse, so what is scouse? <laughs> By the way, she's going to be watching this, she's going to be made up. <laughs> um, it's a meat and potato stew. Yeah. So, my mum would make it every Thursday and we'd, we'd have lunch together, wouldn't we, on a Thursday? But, can I just say, though, a dad, Jimmy, did say, he did say, um, <laughs> he did say, since you've been making that scouse for that Stephen Graham, it's got a lot better. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? So it was great all around, really, if I'm honest. Yeah. Stephen, it must have been nice for you. I mean, obviously, this sort of collaboration between the two of you has been on the horizon for a while now, but yeah. right at the beginning of Jodie's career, you had a, a little bit of sort of part, being part of that, didn't you? Uh, yeah, and she says some wonderful things, you know what I mean? But personally, I believe her destiny was already there. She's an amazing talent, and if I was part of helping that process smooth smoothly yeah. then you know that's that's a blessing itself but for me as well what i wanted to do with this is the bit there's been some iconic liverpoolian roles from you know mm -hmm. educating rita and shirley valentine and mm -hmm. for me personally i wanted jodie to do it in her own accent and and stick her flag in the yeah. ground you know what i mean because i think it's a it's a beautiful performance we're uh, we're just not used to obviously hearing you with your own accent yeah and it does still come to as a, as a surprise to some people that don't know you Still, do you think? I think so. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because I've always been like, oh, if I lose my, if I'm doing a character, it's best to change my accent because then I can, you know, kind of lose myself and get away from myself more. But actually, it's not. It's just not the case. Mm. The process in this was different, wasn't it? Yeah, it was completely different. And you know, that's what we wanted when we spoke with Mark Munden and Jack Thorne, our writer and director, at the beginning. We wanted it to be very immersive and we wanted it to feel very, very real. And that, yeah, that was we wanted it to be a piece of social realism, do you know mm. what I mean? Um, yeah. And that was that was from the get-go with Mark, who was fantastic. Yeah. And obviously Jack, who's a, who's a wonderful writer. I um, I love uh, love the fact, everything you've done um, and, uh, and you know, sort of the acclaim that you've you've had, both of you, um, but uh, but for you today, you said walking into this studio <laughs> was like the, coming onto the Truman Show. Yeah, I'm like, I'm on this morning. <laughs> I've never I seen her so nervous. <laughs> No, I'm so I'm so made off. You don't know. I watched this morning like my whole life. So this is like this is very very uh, surreal. Well, yeah. you're welcome anytime. <laughs> Thank you. Anytime. Well, we you sti like. stitched you up the last time you were on in during lockdown. Yeah. And then over your shoulder, and you swore. Um, <laughs> I did. Over your... <laughs> not it's not technically a swear. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Here you go. It got bleeped out. It did. Yeah. <laughs> what? Your chimney. You got. It looks like you got a load of gifts. <laughs> it looks like the gifts have just. Sorry, oh, sorry. <laughs> like... sorry. That's... sorry about that. That's only, um, that's we I loved that. Around. Just being able to take a peek inside people's houses. We don't get. We love it better when you're here, but it's yeah. always quite nice to be a bit nosy. <laughs> yeah. yeah how was uh, how was the Arctic? Amazing. What an experience. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It really was. Uh, it, it was mind blowing, to be honest with you. Uh, as a kid, getting on a bus going to the Everyman Youth Theatre. I never thought I'd be in the middle of the Arctic, do you know what I mean? So Filming this is the ship. North Water that we're talking yes, about? Yeah. Now. Yeah, so we'll explain yeah. what that is, because it's... Uh, um, it's a great novel, um, and it's, it's been adapted by our wonderful director, so and it's just... It, it's the story of uh, an, a, 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 a whaling ship that sets off from Hull sure. and goes to the Arctic, um, and it's, it's set, obviously, in that period, and it's, it's just a great... It's kind of like Heart of Darkness, do you yeah. know what mm. I mean? Some of the things that happen on that ship. And, uh, Jenny, you're, are you currently filming the final series, Killing Eve? Yeah. That's going to be a hard one to let go, isn't it? Yeah, it's very surreal. We're yeah. just about to start the final two episodes. Um, so it's crazy, you know, it's been like four years of all yeah. of our lives and we just want to make sure that we, we end it on a, on a good note that's satisfying for the audience but also is truthful to the, to the characters, you yeah. know? So we, we, we've left them on the bridge. Yeah. yeah. Walking yeah. in yeah, yeah, yeah. directions. Um, I'm assuming you're not going to tell me anything about No, Phil, I'm no, not. No, of course not. <laughs> Otherwise, you would kill me. Yes, yes. Exactly. Uh, as, as indeed only an L can. Yeah. Um, but, but what's it going to feel like for you on that final clapperboard? When I you don't know. know. It's the last take. I feel emotional even thinking about it. Like, I had a moment with the clapperboard the other day and I was like... Well, first off, I was like, to the producer, Nigel, I was like, you know, when we finish, can I have one of them clapperboards? <laughs> yeah. That was the first thing I asked. Um, I don't know. Honestly, it'll be... I imagine it will be a 
a bit of everything, you know. It, it'll be, it'll be great to end it in a way of like, you know, sometimes if you go on and on with something, the quality fades. So I'm happy mm. to be able to yeah. like, hopefully give it a good send off, but it'll be sad not to see those people every she's, day. I, I, when we've watched it though, you look at that and think, she's such a great character. Mm. Yeah. It's such a brilliant best. story. Yeah. But I understand that as far as a series is concerned, right, you wrap that up and that finishes properly and you want yeah. to wrap that up properly. But it's a great movie character as well, isn't mm. it? Has that ever been floated? I don't think so. I think they're kind of keeping their options open, like who knows what the future holds. But for sure, like the thing that I will miss the most is like not having to apologize for anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all the mischief that I get away with. There's something just so fun about that. But that's the great thing, isn't it, now? I think that we've moved so far away from this kind of snobbery of movies and mm. then what is seen on TV and that actually yeah. It's the script, I think, for all of you, that it's the script you follow, not where it's actually shown. And that's what this is as well, if I'm really honest. You know, like those classic... Maybe you're... Yeah, you're definitely too young and you're probably too young, but remember, like, plays for today... And what are you looking like at me that? for? <laughs> because you're not too young. Um, and, and great writers like Alan Clark, who made great films for television. Yeah. And when we set off at the very beginning, Jack went, oh, well, I'll do, like, a three or four part. And I said, no, I want it to be a film for television. I want That's what I want yeah. it to be, just yep. a film for telly. Do you know what I mean? We, well um, we should mention as well, because you, you, you gave them a little mention. Um, at Help is tomorrow at nine on Channel 4, and you work with a rare dementia support for, for the film as well, and you said that they were amazing. They're an amazing charity, and they are like looking to raise funds. So if you could please put it on your website. Yeah, yeah of course. That. Please, that would be lovely. Absolutely. Thank you. No problem. It's lovely to see you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>